because I live in Arizona where daytime temperatures can get up into the 120s, at nighttime it cools off and being able to get out and do the things that I would normally do keeps me sane. I can go hiking, I can go and take my four wheel drive vehicle out on the trails and I can go out and you know take my dog for a walk. I use a variety of night vision devices. Primarily, they get used around the property. So I'm checking in on, on chickens and livestock. A lot of animals that are active at night have way better night vision than you do. So I use night vision when it comes to predator control, non-native invasive species such as hogs, and especially when it comes to coyotes around here. There are a few different ways you can utilize a device like this. The first one is to helmet mount it using a modified JR. You can also put on a tripod. Then finally, you can put a Picatinny mount on the bottom of this. Some of the advantages that digital night vision gives you over analog is the amount of features. Having a color spectrum in there gives you the ability to pick out shapes and objects that you might not otherwise be able to do. You've got a GPS on board with this. You have a compass on board with this. You also have the ability to take either stills or video. Nothing like that is available with analog. In order to maintain my own credibility, I have to perform at a high level, no matter what the weapons platform, no matter what the scenario is. Having the ability to execute all the skills that I have during the day, equally as effectively at night time, that's important. This is the new Wrath 430 crossbow from Centerpoint. We started field testing this a couple weeks ago. Really impressed so far. I'll tell you what, my first thoughts, it's probably the best bang for your buck crossbow in the market. And when you look at this, it's just over 28 inches in length. It's only nine inches axle to axle when it's cocked. It's really nice for shooters of all sizes and ages. Now let's focus on some of the features on this crossbow that I really like. You know, first off, it has an adjustable stirrup that locks into place in a couple different positions. And it'll also completely fold back, which makes it really nice. The scope that comes with this package is a four by 32 illuminated scope with various red and green color options. Some of the other features I really like about this crossbow are the timing marks on the cams. It allows you to, to be able to check the timing of your crossbow, make sure your crossbow is always in time. The dampeners in between the cams and the limbs, that helps a lot with vibration and noise. And then if you look here at the quiver, the, the quiver mounts to a Picatinny rail here on the bottom. It allows you to adjust your quiver forward and backwards. You can also adjust the quiver mount so that it's suitable for right-handed or left-handed shooters. The ball bearing retention is a really nice feature. It creates consistent pressure on your arrow. And then the rope cocker, it's made with a sled mechanism, so it provides a really consistent and smooth draw cycle. But I'll tell you what, the RAF 430 coming in at 430 feet per second with all of these features at the price point it's at, it's gonna be really tough to beat. When you're looking for a fixed blade knife, LMF2 is where it's at. Drop point blade, serrated edge, really thick ergonomic to your hand, spike pummel. The LMF2 was originally designed to get air crew out of a downed aircraft it's by cutting their way out or breaking their way out. Non-conductive handle, if you've got to cut wires, it's not gonna electrocute you. It's designed with three holes so that you can create a lashing and actually create a spear with it. I'll tell you what, this was coming at you, you're in trouble. It wouldn't be right to have a heavy duty knife without a heavy duty sheath. This sheath right here, has molly attachments for your vest, belt loop to put on your belt. Knife comes in and out both ways. Even comes with a sharpener. So if you're in the field, your knife gets dull, get it sharp, get right back on task. Made in America, right here in Portland, Oregon. This is the Ding Dong Breaching Tool. A sledgehammer, a battering ram, a pry bar. All three are essential breaching tools for operators who need to get through doors quickly. The Ding Dong combines these three tools into one tight package. The hammerhead features machined cross hatching that effectively bites into doors and other surfaces as you smash into them, minimizing slip and maximizing impact. The pry bar at the end of the handle is perfect for wedging into door frames. The Ding Dong's fiberglass handle features two molded rings, equally spaced to create mechanical stops for the operator's hands ensuring a solid grip when ramming into or swinging at objects. The Ding Dong comes with a unique mounting system, a fiberglass plate that mounts to Molly compatible gear. Mechanical snaps and a heavy rubber strap keep it in place. Proudly built in Portland, Oregon for when the doorbell just isn't an option. This is the Ding Dong Breaching Tool. AGM NVG40 Night Vision Goggles.
Upon opening the unit, you'll find a black soft carrying case. When opening the unit, you'll first find your kit contents bag, which includes your instruction manual on a thumb drive, CR123 battery, dovetail or bayonet style mount, and an AGM lens cloth, as well as extra sacrificial kits and dimis shields. Lastly, you will find your tube data sheets for your night vision intensifier tubes. The AGM NVG40 comes with a standard 40 degree field of view with one power supply and one battery compartment. Your one battery compartment will power both of your tubes. On the front side, you will find your gain adjustment knob to adjust the brightness of your unit. On the other knob, you will find your off, on, or IR engagement point. On the top, you will find your dovetail mount or bayonet style mount, allowing you to connect whichever style mount you would like to use after purchasing the unit. On the front side of the unit, you will see your diopter adjustment, and on the objective lens side, you will see your focus adjustment. The NVG40 series has the ability to articulate up and down and from side to side, giving you the ability to either use one unit like a PVS-14 or both as a night vision goggle set. The NVG40 has a battery life of up to 35 to 40 hours on one battery. Also available in Gen 2 Plus or Gen 3 tubes in white phosphor or green phosphor. The AGM NVG has a limited three year warranty and is available through authorized dealers and distributors. Hey there, I'm Scott with AquaQuest, and I'm here to introduce you to our most heavy-duty and waterproof tarp, the Defender. The Defender uses a very durable 70D nylon that's dual-coated with DWR and TPU. You can see how thick and almost rubbery that TPU coating is here. It actually blocks out the camo pattern on the underside of this tarp fabric. This combination of materials gives the Defender a waterproof rating of 20,000 millimeters. Now translated, this means that if there were a 65 foot tall column of water just pressing down on this tarp, it would not get through the fabric. So, tough fabric, durable waterproofing, and we reinforce the tarp's key stress points at every intersection. Doubled up fabric on the corners, really strong webbing loops and stitching here as you can see, and we even buttress the ridge line with webbing to ensure those important tie-outs never tear away when under duress by wind or other forces. The Defender is built to last and is also extremely adaptable. With almost countless configuration options, you can set up and shelter in any terrain. Plus, we make it in four sizes to ensure whatever your outdoor adventure, your trip is totally covered. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to hit the like button below. And if you want to see similar videos in the future, smash that subscribe button and make sure to turn the notification bell on. For now, that's all I've got. And in all that you do, we want to help you beat yesterday.